trials. And in the Salem witchcraft trials, uh, there were a series of young girls who accused people of being witches, and this divided the town, and several innocent people were uh, killed in that process. Some of you know, may know the history. Uh, some of the theories behind it is that the girls ate tainted bread and had hallucinogenic experiences. Another uh, did some research and determined that the town of Salem was divided by a river and people on one side of the river were making accusations against people on the other side of the river and that it may have been a land grab. But this is a different theory that came from my experience of uh, walking through Salem and seeing the architecture and the houses. And this focuses on the idea that it was the houses that had a role in this. The mystery of Salem solved. Wind whistled through their eaves, which spiraled through their rafters, quietly entered town. Leaded glass windows leered in jealousy. Houses must be severe, dark, walnut clapboard. How dare Rebecca Nurse reside in colonial red, plant colorful flowers under her windows. Walkways must be drab, severe, frozen tundra or mud terrain, no deviation. The buildings in West Danvers conspired against the buildings in East Danvers, and the severe building sneered at the colored heathens downwind and snow and cold howled witch, which entered the ears and mouths of villager, villagers, and wooden floorboards screamed, writhe, and children contorted themselves accordingly, subtly instructed by the architectures of sorrow. Can you, citizen, look at Hoxie House and not see evil? As jails filled, as accusations accelerated, as neighbor pointed at neighbor, how could Judge Jonathan Corwin not believe in witches, returning nightly down his walkway, looking up to Raven Sky nightly, to the two black peaked hats, topping off his Salem home. And the buildings pointed, witch, and their darkness spread its reach, castling malevolent marks, causing drownings, causing stonings, tearing the fragile fabric of community, pinning righteousness against reason. Then, and now.